Whether entering Gatesville, Texas from the east or the west, U.S. Route 84 becomes Main Street in the city of around 16,000 residents. It is the county seat of Coriel County, also known for its proximity to the U.S. Army Fort Hood and for being the location of five of the nine state prisons for women in Texas. The 77th Texas Legislature designated Gatesville as the Spur Capital of Texas in 2001. A collection of around 10,000 spurs donated from the Lloyd and Madge Mitchell Collection can be viewed at the Coriel Museum and Historical Center located off the square in downtown. However, there is another landmark that may seem out of place. Located in the middle of a strip mall parking lot behind the McDonald's is the 1910 Cotton Belt Depot, current home of the Gatesville Chamber of Commerce and Tourist Information Center. Without a train in sight, let alone railroad tracks, let's explore why our little train depot is here. In the late 19th century, Gatesville and surrounding communities were mostly rural. Farms and ranches were increasing in number with corn and cotton being the largest crops produced for profit. Cotton was grown in Texas as far back as the early 1700s by Spanish missionaries. Anglo migrants into Texas began producing cotton in 1821 with a sharp rise in production in the mid 1800s. By the turn of the century, over 3.5 million bales of cotton were produced annually throughout the state. Cotton is still grown in Texas with a shift to grow more crops located in the south and west. The increase of more affordable synthetic fibers also caused a decline in the demand for cotton. The increase in sales of cotton in the 19th century was largely due to the increase of railroad tracks brought into Texas from the north. In 1873, railroads from South Texas connected to the national network after a section of railroad was completed from Houston to Denison. Gatesville wanted so much to have access to the railroad, the citizens offered $30,000 and donated land to have track th tracks extended from Waco for freight and passenger service in the late 1880s. It was the St. Louis Southwestern Railroad that brought cotton from the Gatesville area out of Texas to textile mills in the east. After the railroad arrived, Gatesville's population, size, and businesses quadrupled over the next 10 years. Operated by a board of directors, including Waco attorney George Clark, the St. Louis Southwestern Railroad was headquartered in Tyler and was historically called the Cotton Belt. In 1910, after the St. Louis Southwestern acquired the Stephenville North and South Railroad, tracks were extended from Hamilton to Gatesville, but by 1941, these tracks were abandoned. Passenger service across America declined due to the access and affordability of automobiles, improved roads, and the building and expanding of the interstate highway system, as well as the growth of cities and suburban areas, decreasing the need to travel from rural areas into the cities for goods and services. By the 1960s, steam train engines were replaced with diesel. The sensory delights of the train whistle, the hiss of steam, clamor of exhaust, and rich smells of hot grease and coal smoke were missing from the new age of locomotives and train travel. In the 20 years between the mid-1940s and mid-1960s, passenger train travel declined by 84%. The service from Gatesville to Lime City was discontinued in 1972, with the final freight train pulling a few cars in a caboose out of the station at 3.40 p.m. on November 14th. No depot agent had worked at that location since 1968. The train service to Gatesville had been strictly freight for the previous 40 years. Ironically, just a week before the service was continued, a thousand tons of Uvalde asphalt was delivered to the Texas Highway Department for roadway improvements in Gatesville and Coriel County. The tracks were sold for salvage and ripped up. You can still see remnants of the track beds if you know where to look.
the tracks are long gone. Just the stories and the memories of the folks around here that still remember crossing the tracks on Main Street or on Farm to Market Road 107 when drag races started just across the track and ended at a quarter mile and the winner proved his car was the fastest in town. And of course, there is this little cotton belt depot, a gentle reminder of when steam train whistles sang in the night. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.